This one is for Surfrod users. Uh, this one is called MK Elvis. It's a way to create um, LV from your terminal command line. Uh, last time I showed you how to do this is, uh, you know, we did it manually using a text editor, but now you can just do it straight from your terminal if you want to use this. So um, this is the uh, project. It's kind of weird. It has like three different names. So this one is Surfrod Elvis Generator. I believe the whole suit is Surfrod Tools, but there's only one tool in right now. I don't know what else uh, you're going to put in here, but the tool we're going to use is MK Elvis, right? And they give you, uh, this is how you install it using pipx if you want to use that. And here's an example here. So that's what we're going to do when I get an example. So I have like a search engine here. And this one is Stack Exchange specifically for math. So all you got to do is, you know, try to search for a keyword here. We'll do addition or something that doesn't really matter. But we're going to copy that URL, right? Copy that sucker. And uh, we're going to use this example here to uh, create our Elvis. Um, you know, a smart search. So, uh, how you do this here? MK Elvis. And as far as the name, I'm gonna call it just Math EX for Math X, you know, a Stack Exchange. And as far as the URL, actually, you have to put in the domain, right? So, we need to edit this here. We'll do that twice here. But we don't get rid of that. We're just gonna have the domain of that and this one is actually the string that you're going to use but you actually have to get rid of the uh any https or http you know the old insecure one uh you have to get rid of that and just have it like uh this also uh we search addition that was our keyword we don't want to have any keyword so we're going to delete that and just have it like that All right and now you save it and then we are going to create one here so we created one and you can see at the bottom here, we just created this math EX and then you can use it using your surf raw command, uh, math EX and we'll do like a division or something like that. And it should open with our default web browser, right? And here we go. This is, uh, you know, whatever keyword you type in now, uh, what was that? Cosine, what was that cosine or cotan? trigonometry right there you go you got some problems that you can do with something like that anyways um that's pretty much it for the program i mean it will create it you know uh this math ex and you can actually just edit it with your text editor if i don't know if you wanted to do it or you want to see how it looks like but basically it just generates um uh, you know, the stuff that we did it manually last time, uh, I show you how to do this, but uh, this one is just straight up generated for us uh, from the terminal really quick. Uh, that's pretty much it for the program, right? And you can use this with any uh, scripts that you have with Surfraw. So right now we're doing from the, uh, the you know, the command line and we, we, we search stuff like this and open your, you know, your GUI. But I also recommend you do this. Uh, I showed you this last time, but if you forgot, if uh, you want to use GUI and terminal web browsers, this is what I recommend for your alias because uh, Surfro has an SR um, command also, and they're pretty much the same thing, but um, you can set it to different web browsers. And what I recommend is if you use SR, you want to set it to a, um, you know, a command line web browser because, you know, SR is short and you're going to type in your terminal and Surfro it's for the GUI web browser. So you can change your web browser variable to, you know, whatever it is, like Firefox, Chromium, whatever it is. And your um, CL web browser, uh, you can use like W3M links or whatever you wanna use. So that's mainly what I do um, if I'm using SR or Surfraw. So if I'm doing Surfraw, I can still do autocomplete, you know, with all my uh, LVs. And, you know, I can search for, uh, I don't know, Tmux or something like that, Bugzilla here. All right, um, and I can still autocomplete, but even with SR, uh, I can autocomplete with that too. Look at this, all right? You know, Arch Wiki, I can do Tmux, and this one will open my um, command line web browser, which is W3M, and I can, I can browse this way too, all right? So that's why I recommend if you're doing it with, um, you know, those two um, commands, SR or Surfer All. Um, they're pretty much linked to the same thing, it's just that. 
uh, we set it to a different purpose for each. So one is for GUI, one is for uh, you know your command line web browser. Anyways, as far as the program, really cool. Um, you know you can create it to, uh, um, just straight from your terminal. You don't have to like manually edit all the uh, text files and stuff like that that we did last time. So that's another way to do it. Anyways, check it out if you want to uh, create your own stuff. And like I said, if you're using like a, you know, D menu, Rofi, or I have my own like FZF uh, launcher here, I can do uh, Surf Raw. And what the one we did? We did math, right? We actually have both math here, but uh, we'll do the math DX and we can do, what is it? Uh, Cotan again. How about that? And now it will open um, that math and the other math here that we just did. And there you go. That's how you can use it, you know, with your launcher too, if you have scripts for it. There should be ones for um, Surf Raw with D menu and Rofi and all that. So, you know, people that use that, they, they probably already have that already. Anyways, that's it for this one.